So, today I sold my first Steam icon item. Yes, you can sell things on Steam. Take a look at this. You go to market on your Steam account. You go to market, my market history. Recently sold. And you can see October 3rd, which is today, I sold the hound to the hound. This guy bought my stock for 19 cents. Yes, he did. Joshua Ash from North Carolina, United States. He bought my Counter-Strike case from Counter-Strike 2. No, he didn't. He bought my Cyberpunk 2077 trading card. There it is, for 19 cents. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot of money, and, and it's not a lot of money. See? But the main thing is, is that if you keep selling individual stocks, say so they're only 19 cents each, and you have thousands of these things, that could add up pretty quick. Thanks. So the point is, is that you can also be selling and trading on your Steam account when you buy things. So how do you get more of these items, you're probably wondering. I don't really 100% know, but what I do know is that when you buy games, they give you free items. Yeah, but obviously you have to buy the game through Steam. You can't go to like Epic Games or another like platform and expect to get all the discount plus the Steam benefits. Huh. That's not going to work. You've got to be loyal to the platform. So that's a little benefit for you guys. Give you guys an incentive to buy games through Steam. Now what do I do? Well, on Steam, I usually buy games on discount. Because I either, one, get bored of the games. Or two, I don't even play the games. Or three, I don't play enough of the game. So then there's no point me paying full price for any game, really. Because it's just going to be a waste of money and a waste of time. You know? And also a waste of storage space. If you guys found this video enjoyable, give me a comment and a like. And also, if you guys have been doing this for a long time, let me know. I've known about this for a couple of months. Actually, a couple of years. But I haven't really got really seriously into it. You know? I was just putting up random prices. But you can check on the market value of that stock or that unit of what you're selling through Steam. And, uh, yeah. You can kind of put it where the value is of what most people would pay. And it's usually going to sell. So, pretty cool, people. Today I got my first endorphin hit of a Steam stock selling. Yay! Win. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.